Hello, Tech World. This is Tech Thoughts. In this short video, we're going to be taking a look at how to create a Telegram bot, how to get a bot token, and then associate that bot with a Telegram group so that you can send automated messages to Telegram. Let's go ahead and get started. As always, if you prefer written documentation, the corresponding article for this topic can be found on the techthoughts.info blog, which I've linked in the description below. So to get started, the first thing we're going to need to do is have a chat with the bot father. Now I'm using the Telegram desktop app. Uh, you can do this on your mobile Telegram application, but I, I find it easier to do on the desktop version. Uh, so you can go ahead and download that now if you would like to follow along. Uh, it's available for both Windows, OS X, and Linux, whatever you happen to be running. And we're gonna to need to talk to the bot father. If you've never talked to the bot father before, you can find him by going up to your contacts list and just search for a bot father. Once you find him, you can just click on him and that'll open up your first initial chat with the bot father. Down here at the bottom, you'll see a start button. You can go ahead and click start and the bot father will respond with all the different things that you are able to do with this particular bot. And we're gonna be interested in this right here, which is creating a new bot with the slash new bot command. We'll go ahead and type that down here in the chat. And in a very conversational manner, bot father will start responding and asking us, what would you like to call this bot? And we'll just call it tech thoughts. He says that's fine. And then he would like us to give a username for this bot. And he lets us know that, that must end in bot. So what I usually do is I use the same name that I originally created underscore bot, which satisfies the requirement for this particular username. Go ahead and click enter. And that's it. At this point, the bot is available. And what you're going to want to do is copy this bot token and keep that for a moment because it'll be needed for future reference. And you'll need this token when sending messages and interacting via this particular bot. The next thing that we'll need to do is identify the chat that we want to send messages to. So here I have created a Telegram group called Tech Thoughts Bot Testing, but you can add your bot to any Telegram group that you wish. So I'll come up here and we'll go ahead and add that bot as a member. It's going to bring up our contact list and we're going to go ahead and search for that Tech Thoughts bot that we just created. And there it is with the username that we specified. And we'll go ahead and click invite. And now that bot is a member of this Telegram group. In order for the bot to send messages to this group, there's two things that we need. The bot token that the bot father gave us a moment ago, and we'll also need the chat ID of this particular group. There are a lot of ways to get that chat ID number, but I found that the easiest way to get it is via the Telegram web client. So we'll go ahead and open that now. Notice that I have that initial chat open here in the Telegram window. And if we open this, what you'll notice is that up here in the URL, there is a number corresponding with this particular chat here. And what you're going to want to do is copy that out. Okay, so now we've got all of the components necessary in order to use our bot to send a message to our group. We've got that bot token, which we retrieve from the bot father after creating our bot. And we've got the chat ID number, which we retrieve from the web version of the Telegram client. Notice that I placed a, a minus symbol here at the front of this number that is required in order to engage it properly. So don't forget to add that minus symbol to the front of that number. And then we're going to simply use this structure of uh, HTTPS address to the API telegram in order to send the message, which you could do via any programming language. So if you could use Python to do this, PowerShell, uh, C sharp, but it doesn't really matter. As long as you structure it this way, you can invoke a web request and send messages in this format. Okay, so we'll go ahead and adjust this. Uh, we're gonna go all the way over to this bot and what we're gonna do here is we're going to copy in our bot token right here. And then we'll go ahead and send the chat ID number to this string as well. And then we're gonna send the text, uh, hello world. So I'll go ahead and copy this in and paste it into a browser window. And we'll bring up the telegram chat window as well. And if I paste this in here and click enter, you'll notice that we get that immediate return 
uh, with our Tech Thoughts bot saying hello world to this particular chat window. And that's all there really is to it. If you found this video helpful in understanding how to make a Telegram bot, please go ahead and click that like button and subscribe for more Tech Thoughts videos.